In flood plains, at any point of time, mainly during monsoon time period, water level can rise. If people started to encroach over these flood plains, it Hello everyone, I am Sanjeev Kumar, faculty at Plutus IS. Today I bring another important topic that is flood. Flood in Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh or Telangana region. We will understand under this lecture why this flood is occurring, what are the basic natural or man-made regions for occurrence of the flood, further how to mitigate the impact of flood, what are the important steps that already had been taken by Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, as well as central government, along with various other disaster management authority, including National Disaster Management Authority, State Disaster Management Authority, District Disaster Management Authority, as well as some of the forces like Air Force, Navy, military personnel, etc. They are together working to combat with this disaster. Now, let's go for, go for Andhra Pradesh or Vijayawada flood. This flood is occurring because of heavy rainfall. The amount of rainfall near about 27% has increased very recently in Andhra Pradesh or Telangana region. This continuous rainfall causes Flood, especially out guzzling of water, water which is outflowing from Buda Meru Rivulet. So, this Buda Meru Rivulet which have capacity of 11,000 Q-sec water now outflowing with more than 70,000 Q-sec water so recently Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister held that we need to enhance the capacity of it further the amount of water which is discharging towards Kulleru Lake The root of water filled with kind of silt, sand or some garbage and majorly this Krishna river is also responsible for occurrence of the flood. Means more amount of water flowing out of capacity of this channel. So this is rough direction with respect to flood that is occurring. Telangana Chief Minister looking for development of State Disaster Management Authority because earlier Telangana was part of Andhra Pradesh means only Andhra Pradesh existed in 2014 this was carved out out of Andhra Pradesh then Telangana Luge State Disaster Management Authority. Now it is looking State Disaster Management Authority, especially for controlling the flood in this region. Chief Minister also look for the central assistance with respect to recently change in guidelines to utilize National Disaster Management Fund. Now guidelines have changed. National Disaster Management Fund. can only be utilized only after 100% fund utilization of a state disaster management fund. Earlier, after utilization of 50% of a state disaster management fund, 
नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट फंड कुड हैव बीन यूटिलाइज बाय स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नाउ अप्रोचिंग टू सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दैट फॉर बेटर असिस्टेंस फॉर बेटर टैकलिंग द फ्लड कंडीशन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट रिस्टोर द प्रीवियस प्रोविजन्स नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स डिफरेंट पिक्चर्स that recently captured via satellite aerial view or through physical devices aerial view flood affected region in andhra pradesh vijayawada this entire region have been submerged lot of people thousands of people different forces are evacuating them now people are being shifted after making makeshift raft for temporary purpose then these people from the vijayawada moving knee down water some of the infrastructure including railway roadways etc have been damaged means mode of transportation mode of communication also damaged by this disaster now moving towards flood what does mean by flood flood means water logging condition in particular area especially when the water level rise beyond surrounding areas then the situation considered as the flood or when water exceed from the natural capacity of water channel or course of river then we consider it the flood what is the capacity of our water channel what is the capacity of course of river the amount of water then that a water channel or course of river can hold before flooding that is the total capacity now when this water level rises in which condition this flood occur so main causes of the flood is monsoon rainfall particularly the southwest monsoon the southwest monsoon is responsible for more than 75% rainfall in india and this rainfall occur only within a short time period from month of june to month of september means this rainfall started in month of june on 1st june this monsoon hit the east coast of kerala and gradually by mid of july it span over entire india then it started to continue till september towards end of september it started to recede withdraw from the territory of india so during very short span of time more than 85 percent of rainfall which caused by it let flooding like con- condition led to flood hazard flood hazard when this inundated water meet vulnerability when 
this flood hazard meet vulnerability in particular region it caused disaster it caused loss to life loss to property loss to flora fauna now what does mean by vulnerability vulnerability of particular area can be defined as the chances of risk the proneness susceptibility of particular region towards particular hazard means especially in those areas where there is more encroachment over the flood plains occurring where there is more encroachment over the flood plains and lowland areas people started to settle they started to establish various kind of occupation including agriculture or sometimes they also opt for industrial activity because in such areas the price of land remain quite low so with respect to vulnerability of india we can say around 12% of area is prone to flood like condition around 12% area is prone to flood like condition means near about 40 million hectare area out of 349 hectare area one hectare you can consider equivalent to you can associate two cricket ground so we can see 8 crore cricket ground area in india is vulnerable for flood like condition now this vulnerability where it is causing more it is causing more in those areas where rivers are flowing particularly flood ha- flood hazard occurring in those areas where major rivers are flowing गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र रीजन इज फ्रोन गंगा इंक्लूडिंग यमुना एंड वेरियस अदर ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा इंक्लूडिंग कोसी एटसेट्रा दे आर नोन फॉर फ्रीक्वेंट अकरेंस ऑफ द फ्लड ईच एंड एवरी ईयर इन पार्ट ऑफ बिहार इन सम पार्ट ऑफ यूपी इन सम पार्ट ऑफ डेहली the surrounding areas there is rise in water level during the monsoon time period there is flood like condition last year in delhi we experienced that flood started to occur particularly when water level rises in yamuna although some of the environment environment list or local authority blame the government that government did not take adequate step with respect to embankment cleaning the drainage or in advance preparing for such kind of disaster yet encroachment over the flood plains continuous construction activity increase in population density etc is further making areas more vulnerable for flood like conditions so in 2019 here flood like condition arises in 2021 in kerala major flood occur initially some of the farmers people were happy 
when rain is started to experience here when few drops of rain is started then people were happy especially the paddy farmers that after long wait now it seems to be good harvest of the paddy on other hand some authorities like reservoir management authority they also happy that for replace replacement of the water for storing more water to consume it in future it is good that rainfall is occurring but soon after they realize that rainfall is rampant this excessive rainfall is continuously pouring more amount of water then it continue on next day as well after it when more than 50 cm of rainfall occurred only just within 2 days time period it led to flood like condition in surrounding areas then farmers who were happy earlier started to worried about loss of crop loss of life loss of property or certain their uh, essential objects or savings on other hand the reservoir authority which almost entirely fill the reservoir now they were worried after looking the condition of reservoirs now reservoirs started to overflow they guzzle out lot of amount of water further authorities which were monitoring the dam they realized that the level of water increases around 3 to 5 meter beyond the danger mark of this dam then iduki dam and some and series over this river series of dam they open the gate the flood gate to prevent dam to ensure safety of dam then it led to submergence of very large area in a very short span of time which led to further great casualty in such areas so this is how the flood are vulnerable in different different areas now moving towards consequences or causes of flood regions which are vulnerable to flood ganga brahmaputra region indus river system means all such major tributaries including jhelum satnaj ravi bias chenab all carry flood in one or other areas indus water also cause flood particularly in pakistan region baluchistan baluchistan pakistan region very recently further towards southern india mahanadi river system godavari krishna currently krishna is bringing flood to andhra pradesh region because the water that flowing through krishna has exceed its capacity kaveri then sometimes narmada and tapi ya tapti river they cause frequent flood in different different areas so one of the basic region is excessive rainfall during monsoon time period further rapid melting of glaciers also increases the amount of water which can create the flood like condition except that what are other regions for occurrence of flood so we have already understood excessive monsoon rainfall maximum flood occur during this time period 
rapid melting of glacier then sedimentation during 2000 when there was huge flood occur in assam region then some of the environment environment list they blame that this is heavy erosion more erosion may be due to deforestation and different other activities sedimentation more silt is depositing inside the river bed which is causing frequent flood silting of river bed here blockage of river bed blockage of river courses or shifting of courses by the river especially your koshi river is well known as the sorrow of bihar which is generally known for frequently shifting its courses during last 250 years it has shifted its courses more than 120 km means on an average you can consider each and every year it has shift it has shifted near about 0.5 km 400 to 500 m it scores means suppose if earlier a river is flowing like this then after flooding condition it shifted its course and it started to flow from adjacent area not from actual area then what are other regions maybe high tides especially the spring tide in particular area they can brought flood but such flood are not very devastative in nature because tide is regular phenomena particularly tides are caused by gravitational pull of sun and moon mainly the gravitational pull of moon is responsible for these tides so tide seems to be regular phenomena so they do not cause such kind of excessive flood like condition cyclones particularly eastern coast of india more vulnerable with respect to cyclonic condition over western coast mainly in gujarat region cyclones also occur frequently so it cause flood like condition further after cyclone tsunami just like 2004 in december 2004 we experience most devastating tsunami okay this may cause lack of lakes lack of wetlands you know we have paved most of the area particularly in major cities like delhi chennai mumbai etc flood is very common regular phenomena why because lot of area already have been paved by concrete so there is no ground left for consuming this excessive amount of water further there are certain human or man made cause like excessive deforestation cause the flood encroachment over river bed over river flood plains sand mining from the river particularly in ganga river yamuna river and some other major river sand mining is very much very much regular phenomena although government and various time there are several verdict of the court yet such kind of activities are not going down so these are various multiple cause 
that we noticed across india for occurrence of the flood now moving towards flash flood flash flood flash flood is a situation when in a very short span of time there is very large excessive flood occur which also brought great amount of sedimentation and whatever materials come in the course of the river it move so flash flood in a very short span of time if river course overflowed and bring huge discharge means great amount of sand silt and various other boulders stones gravels pebbles cobbles etc when it brought then it is the flash flood like condition generally flash flood occur during glacier outburst this glacial outburst is more common within uk means uttarakhand not united kingdom it is more common within sikkim and some surrounding regions where more glacial lakes are vulnerable especially due to climate change very recently disaster management authority form a committee to investigate over more than 93 such glacier lake which are prone to disaster like condition very recently we also experience there was a flash flood huge flash flood in sikkim region where tista dam tista river dam break down because there was huge flow within very short span of time which beyond the capacity of this tista dam and that this led to submergence of great area it led to cause huge disaster in this region so this is the flash flood now there is very recent phenomena of urban floods especially metropolitan cities or mega cities like delhi chennai kolkata mumbai etc they are experiencing the urban flood like condition because of overcrowding because of heavy pavement because of unsustainable construction activities because of majorly poor drainage conditions means already there is huge development of various kind of economic activities there is various development of unplanned structure in such cities where our drainage which are quite outdated and having not sufficient capacity with respect to need of the earth so that's why it is leading to more dangerous conditions some of the disaster we also experience in this monsoon time period as well now moving to mitigation strategy how to mitigate the impact of 
फ्लड मिटिगेशन स्टेप्स मीन्स स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट लोकल पीपल एंड वेरियस अथॉरिटी वट काइंड ऑफ स्टेप दे नीड टू टेक to reduce such kind of disaster that each and every year we are experiencing near about 12% of area of india mitigation strategy one is institutional measure already we have multiple policies act and out of them one of the fundamental act is national disaster management authority this act was created in 2005 this was the fundamental act which led to formation of the national disaster management authority from there onwards national disaster management policy we created in 2009 then national disaster management plan for imp- actual implementation of such policies we have developed in 2016 so national disaster management authority then this act also establishes state disaster management authority now telangana looking for establishment of state disaster management authority especially for prevention of the flood telangana generally either flood or heat waves experience more and uh, sometimes if cyclone become more devastating in nature they cross the land of andhra pradesh then they also move towards the telangana region so these are major disasters in telangana so telangana looking for development of this authority then at local level in particular city you have district disaster management authority which also implement or immediately implement the policy or take various kind of action then there are local volunteers they are supported by various other agencies nowadays air force especially chopper helicopter and different other devices they also utilize to evacuate people rapidly sometimes navy force in coastal areas uh some other defense personnel and along with these you know when flood occur there are more chances for leakage of gases because of damaged undergoing pipelines there are more chances of uh, short circuit within the electricity so there are forces with respect to dousing the fire like condition in certain areas uh may be uh, related to uh, some security personnel or some other agency including doctor team because there are certain kind of diseases especially the water borne diseases mainly or diarrhea or uh, due to rapid development of mosquitoes etc may be malaria dengue such kind of diseases rapidly spread so there is need for the doctor city so institutional measures that government take after institutional measures there are structural measures structural measures means what does mean by structural measures here so we can see that government just before arrival of monsoon need to construct various kind of embankment means rather than natural levees which automatically form during flood time around the bank of the river there is artificial embankment or raising the bank from flooding level is need of the hour further sometimes dam prevent sometimes dam also become region for huge devastation caused by the flood so if adequate dam 
build over particular river in more sustainable way just like over damodar river earlier it used to be considered as sorrow of bengal after construction of series of dam over this river now this is no more a sorrow of bihar most of the water flow generally controlled in better way so we can construct certain dam as andhra pradesh now it is looking for buda meru rivulet to increase its water capacity maybe around 70000 qsec okay so we require more dams we require more sustainable reservoirs further proper planned drainage planned drainage system they need to be developed then there are measures with respect to cleaning the drainage clearing desilting drainage here water channels means just before monsoon time period there is requirement for clearing all such garbage let's keep all such drainage clean so that water can smoothly flow further we require more measures especially regarding creating the awareness particularly nowadays if you went through this yamuna river then government of delhi already has installed certain exhibitions that these are the flood prone ya flood plains not suitable for habitation not uh not allowed for construction of various kind of industrial activities not suitable for agriculture activities because in flood plains at any point of time mainly during monsoon time period water level can rise if people started to encroach over these flood plains it further aggravated such condition okay so create awareness regarding flood plains regarding better management of the water further we require more precise prediction of rain particularly this is the work of imd indian meteorological department plus some other weather related agencies cause for huge disaster not only the illegal construction or rapid industrialization but a few times it has been realized particularly in case of kerala flood local authority nor indian meteorological department predicted excessive amount of rainfall so initially people were happy reservoir or dam management authority were happy they were looking for storation of more and more water for future need but very soon they realized that this excessive rainfall further made the condition worse if better prediction could be possible then probably we could have avoided yeah avoided such kind of incident so this is regarding before flood like condition suppose that in particular area a flood has occurred in particular area if more flood has occurred then what kind of measures can be taken during flood generally it is asked that not to move in flooded water 
especially if water level is knee down then you don't know where is uh, potholes where uh, is road or uh, you don't have any kind of indication even movement over the road is not safe so in such condition if you are forced to move you can take a bamboo stick and with this bamboo stick just like blind person they know what are the obstacle object in front of them then they always go along with the bamboo stick so you can also take this so that where are the potholes existed where is any other holes existed which is which may endanger your life so you can predict it further generally if you are living in flood blown areas then keep first aid kit ready and utilize this first aid kit since there are incident of more water borne disease there are more incident of snake bite during this time period so you should keep along with bandages or along with the normal first aid you should keep a special kind of medicines further during flood like condition take care of drinking water safe drinking water if you do not find such safe drinking water then generally boiled water is preferred during such kind of condition yeah sometimes inside uh, already packed pot bottles yeah including maybe geysers maybe some other pots etc may provide you safe drinking water at this at such time period then if you need to move outside your house then keep essential belongings generally you should keep them limited not in great quantity otherwise they likely to be overburdened you have waterproof bag especially for some of the essential items including your documentation etc generally they require more safety when you are leaving your house then take care about you know power off ya yeah, switch off of your all such kind of electric equipments generally you need to keep some of the electric items or some of other sensitive items at more height within your house further generally put a send bag inside your toilet because what happens there is outflow of water so if there is outflow of your toilet it may entirely pollute surrounding areas which further likely to be spread more diseases so put a send back so that in flood like condition there is no outflow else you can put send back on certain drainage which uh, especially started from your house so that no such reverse water condition arises then you can check gas pipe etc or connections 
that they are completely off if possible then keep them completely off so these are the general guidelines which are recommended further for your safety you can keep certain dry food items because you cannot go for empty stomach long time period especially if you also have some small children new natals then take care about some of the dry items which can sustain for longer time period then during such condition generally more areas are polluted look for elevated region if i talk about this kajiranga national park etc what happens it is most popular rhinoceros park rhinos along with some other animal they started to move over some mount ya yeah, raised platform which generally provides them more safety so sometimes they survive if you are living in rural areas you need to know already root then why are already known root move towards raised platform or shelter some of the coastal region some of the state which are more prone to flood like condition more prone to cyclone like condition they already establish in advance some kind of shelters cyclone shelter yeah flood centers at sector you can move towards them further during such time period what happens that there are you know more spreading of diseases yeah because of polluted water spread in all surrounding areas more rapid growth of bacterial activity so you can also affected by some germs so keep bleaching powder you can spread the bleaching powder over that infected area and then you can lay over it you can reside over it for certain time period for temporary purpose so you need to keep such thing in your mind now after disaster what kind of approach you need to take after flood now if you are moving towards your home check wall building particularly gate condition because during flood there might be poor a poor there might be hole or there might be weakening disbalancing of the building it may further create danger or any kind of casualty so check them carefully do not turn light all of sudden just proper have monitoring over all such electric equipment all such connectivity of light if you found that each and everything seems to be perfect with some gloves ya dried clothes etc you can generally start it to turn on the light chuk uh, look ya check proper gas line if there is leakage there is problem of short circuit then you may call electrician ya you may call a specialist for such thing now if there is any kind of damage any kind of uh, you know loss etc maybe during fire incident during any kind of a special casualty call a special authorities 
स्पेशल एजेंसीज मे बी फायर डिपार्टमेंट मे बी सेफ्टी एंड रेस्क्यू डिपार्टमेंट दे वर्क ड्यूरिंग सच टाइम पीरियड यू कैन कॉल दैम फॉर रिजॉल्विंग योर प्रॉब्लम दैन गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो नीड टू वर्क ओवर रिहेबिलिटेशन एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज because transportation communication services along with various other essential services are damaged further such uh, incident need to be recorded and whatever is the outcomes they can further followed within the curriculum so i hope i have already expressed a very lengthy discussion now i am ending my discussion thank you very much see you after some time during next another hot topic bye bye take care